This is Julia Whittup with Talk Story TV or Talk Story Media. I changed it from TV a while back. And today we have with us Iris Barnett, who started a, or is it Barrett? It's Barrett. Barrett, <laughs> who's just starting a new group for young women. And I will let her tell you all about it. Go ahead, Iris. Thank you so much, Julia. Um, I think you know that we had a home in Ecuador for 13 years. And you know, I've seen how other cultures honor their young women. They honor their moon time, whether that's with a quinceanera um, mm -hmm. celebration. I just see so many of these young women acting out and crying out to be seen, to be heard, to be acknowledged. And you know, teenage years are so incredibly difficult. And so since I've been doing ceremony for so many years um, as a writer and as a minister, I decided it was really important for me to put together a program and, and basically a ceremony with all the lovely accoutrement that might go with it, uh -huh. like a beautiful you know, floral crown for the young maiden to be honored. Um, and I think it's so important for these young women to feel the support of sisterhood. Yes. To have the support of their mothers, their aunts, their, their sisters, whoever is willing to come together. And I just feel like our society is so devout of this. And I see, unfortunately, the negative repercussions of not having the support and not having an actual rite of passage. Right. Yeah. And it connects them more with their community, too. Absolutely. And one of the one of the other things I've noticed, for example, the, the quinceañeras, they've become super materialistic. Yeah. It's all about the fancy gown and the food and the community. Well, it used to be with the tribes when they would do these rites of passage or these times of transition, that a really important part of it was to think about like three childish things that you want to give up, you know, being uh -huh. mean to little kids or, you know, not want to do your chores or whatever, you know, you're maturing, you're growing up, you're crossing a threshold. So uh -huh. they would choose three immature things that they would want to give up. And then they would also choose three things um, that they wanted to earn privileges for. And the uh -huh. whole idea, and parents need to embrace this too, instead of just giving their kids everything and hoping they're prepared for it. The tribe would say, how are you going to serve the tribe? And you know, when you're mature enough, then you can drive a car. When you're mature enough, then you can, you know, and support. You how do you want your to maturity by taking on these responsibilities? Yes, it's called earned privileges. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. And it's important for parents. It's a great opportunity, too, for parents to say, look, you know, what things do you want to give up? Because you're maturing. And with giving those things up, and gaining more maturity, we are going to let you stay out later or be able to date or, um, you know, have more privileges. So, you know, that's an important part of it that I think has also been lost in the quinceañeras and, um, you know, some of the other things. It's like, we're a tribe, we're a community and in tribes and communities, people were ready to show up and serve the tribe in a conscious way. Yes, yeah, they have a saying in Hawaii called kuleana, and kuleana is what you're good at and what you're willing to take responsibility for. It's not just, oh, I'm good at this, but I'm willing to do this for the tribe because I have this gift. Right, how are you going to be of service? You know, and right. it is important when you cross the threshold to realize that, you know, Growing up is all about showing up too. <laughs> I mean, it really is, you know. So, so yeah, I care deeply about it, and I've seen way too many teenage suicides. Um, recently, a young girl shot herself with her boyfriend's gun. You know, I mean, and excuse me, but that says to me that we don't have the sisterhood support we need. Right. You know, these girls. I mean, there's so much competition. There's so much comparison. There's so much materialistic garbage and bullying and all that nonsense, you know, that we have to, how can we counteract that? How can we 
Julia, I mean, I ask myself these deep questions. How can we be part of the solution right. for these young ladies during such a difficult time and during such a, a challenging time within our history where we lack a lot of that community connection? And so for me, it's all about sisterhood. And what are you calling your group? Well, I do private ceremonies, but here's the cool thing that I did is I basically put together a wonderful letter that honors a young girl in this transition. And it has a whole bunch of aspects of women's wisdom in there. Okay. And so I actually put it in my Etsy shop so that someone could actually, for very little money, download it and write the girl's name and either send it anonymously um, because I think the ending of it is that it's from your um, tribe of women within the great sisterhood or something. <laughs> um, so it can be sent anonymously to a young girl who really is having trouble that we know, a neighbor, a classmate. Um, it can also be used as like a template for grandma or mom or somebody's sister to write their own letter and share their own wisdom. Um, so I've done it as a very inexpensive download. And I, I'd like to just share with you really, really quickly what the primary um, what the primary aspects of it are in terms of women's wisdom. And where they can go download it too. Yeah, yeah. So um, what's really great about it is there's women's wisdom, basically a paragraph with a couple of questions about self-care during moon time, very important. Mm -hmm. Sisterhood, all of the advantages and joys of it. Release and renewal, moon time's a good time to cry and honor <laughs> the release <laughs> and renewal that goes on. Uh, Mother Earth, Grandmother Moon, and Sacred Cycles. That is lovely to address. Time alone and silence, how that can you know, help our creativity and how important that can be at moon time too. Crossing a threshold into new beginnings. And again, re balancing responsibility with greater privileges, like we talked about. Um, talking a little bit about the divine feminine is also a very important part for me and um, cultures and traditions. And it starts out, did you know that some cultures are ruled by women rather than by men? And it points out about you know five or six uh, matriarchal societies that it currently exist around the world. So I think that all of those things are really important. I think it's a great opportunity, even if you can't get together and do a group like I like to try to do in my community, uh -huh. you can have this letter, you can download it, you can print it for next to nothing, you can send it off and they get some women's wisdom it honors them for this, you know, supportive transition in their life. Um, the other cool thing that I love about it is I have some fabulous music that honors women. Some oh, great nice. links. YouTube's got some great stuff. Are you familiar with Karen Drucker? No. Karen Drucker. She's on YouTube and she is fabulous. And so the ones that I recommend of hers are I Am Loved, Woman's Spirit, Oh Mother God, Blessing to the World and Gifts of the Goddess. And they are all fabulous. And they're all on YouTube? They are. And so that's also included in the letter so that people can go, oh, and listen to some uplifting. I mean, you and I know the, the importance and the beauty and the power of music. So that's really great. And then I also have included a universal non-denominational prayer. Oh, and nice. And the big difference is how it starts. Um, this is how I pray. <laughs> so it says, great spirit of life and love within ourselves and within our world, we honor your divine presence. Very nice. I think it's important to plant the seed that the divine is within ourselves and within our world, rather than plant, praying to some external daddy God who's supposed to fix everything. I. You know, yeah. and, and, and I and I honor, you know, all different paths. Of course I do. Nevertheless, I think it's important to point out that it is within ourselves and within our world, the divine. And, and the connection um, is always there. It is, it is. And so I've just done this beautiful little, little prayer, you know, 
to, to bless their path. It's very universal and very lovely. And so it kind of includes all of those things. And um, well, could you tell us your website address so we can sure and get that? Yes. Yeah, so uh, my Etsy shop is you just go to etsy.com and then forward slash shop. And the name of my shop is Evolving Genius Awards. Evolving. And that's because Genius Awards. Because as you know, my other passion is honoring people anonymously. And I have like, you know, 42 different awards that people can send anonymously as a thrilling surprise, or they can send them uh, with a gift note if they wish. I've, I've sent those out actually. <laughs> I, that's how I met you, I think. Yes, and I'm looking forward to, um, to giving you uh, some of these things uh, for your fundraiser, not only a nice little package of awards, but I also uh -huh. look forward to giving you a beautiful copy, a hard copy that you can make copies of, um, of this wonderful, you know, moon time honoring letter. Oh, nice. Thanks, Iris. Absolutely. And you can make all the copies you want and you can pass that little puppy out. And, uh -huh. um, you know, so, so many of these young women, as mothers and grandmothers especially, we can see some of them suffering in our neighborhoods. Yes. But we don't know what to do. And here's the other thing, Julie, and I know you know this is true. So many of these young women are starting their moon time at 10 and 11 years old now. I know, it's disturbing. That's and they don't have, have to deal with that kind of responsibility. Well, and the thing is, is they don't have the emotional or the psychological maturity. Right. To really be able to, you know, start dealing with their sexuality and all, all that that entails. And right. the support of women and sisterhood is huge yes, yes, yes. at that time. Okay, well, thank you so much for doing this. Quite a service to our young people. Well, thank you. And um, by the way, my, other, my main website, which also connects to my Etsy shop, is anonymousexpressions.com. AnonymousExpressions.com. Yes, with an S, Expressions. Um, um, and one more thing, if you've got a second. Yeah. Um, so I, I created this wonderful moon time thing, and I'm very excited about it. And people are already starting to utilize it. So then when I started thinking about visiting with you, what I started to is I've created one that's called um, You're a Sisterhood Treasure. So that any woman can share it with any woman. It doesn't just have to be about moon time. Oh, so good. Sisterhood treasures are people that want to support other women, that want to share women's wisdom and resources, that that want no woman, no sister left behind, you know. <laughs> so I um I will certainly send you that as well. Um, I'm in the process of working on it right now, and I'm very excited about it because. It honors all women of any age who want to, they can send it anonymously to another woman. They can send it with a note. I honor you as a, a sisterhood treasure. So it honors them as a sisterhood treasure. It points out that they can be sent to people who need to be uplifted or people who are absolute treasure. So you're honoring them as a treasure and pointing out that, yeah, there are some people who really need and appreciate being honored and we all need you know. appreciation well, it's hard to give 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 and never feel like anybody notices like why am I doing this <laughs> you know it's really true and, and honoring people is definitely my thing as you know so <laughs> so I'm really excited to send you copies of these so that Thank you will you. have them whether that's for a fundraiser or to pass around or you know I put them into your loving heart and your loving hands to do with what you know will be the right thing to do Thank you. Mahalo. Same to you, sweetheart. I really honor who you are and, and what you do. And, and I'm really thrilled that you're, you're doing it, baby. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. I'm, I'll get that word out there. All right. I'll get you some stuff in the mail. And I thank you again, Julia. Okay. Bye-bye.